What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube and I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me for today's episode. We're doing the next game in our Map Master series. We're going to be taking a look at every single map in the game one by one and determining where they stack up against each other for free for all progressive um i hate my start i hate everything about these settings i'm going to power through and hope that somehow i can negotiate a victory it really really looks like this is going to be a luck fest so despite my Better wisdom. I actually think I skip here, and I don't want to skip because I would love to have a card, but what do I do? I roll a 5v2. So, settings for the series. We're doing World on Progressive, Expert, Automated Bot. We don't start with any. Uh, nothing fancy. No Fog, no Blizzards, no Alliance, no Portals. World Domination. And France is a teeny tiny map, which is going to change how the normal style of free-for-all progressive is played france is a great 1v1 map it's tiny right it's uh one two three four 16 plus 10 it's 26 territories very very small map um but it has a bunch of bonuses so let's take a look at the bonuses you got western france plus four northern france plus two eastern france plus three southern france plus two south western france plus three and the three territories in the middle are worth plus five if you can hold it so i figure for six human players looks like green is botting <clears throat> for six human players, we're going to see a very aggressive um, jockeying for position in the early game <coughs> where larger stacks get hit willy-nilly. Uh, someone's going to take a bonus, someone isn't, and then someone's going to mess up and kill feed in the mid-game is my prediction of how this goes. Does nine hit the six? They don't. Okay. White wants to be in the middle of the board. I like that for white. I'm happy the white player so i have an exterior six that i'm not going to add to i'm going to hope to take cards off of it i'm going to keep adding to my single position in the top left green bought it and skipped so the first card is actually the white player and now we're going to start taking cards magenta is going to take cards off white magenta is still in four positions very hard to keep yourself in multiple positions given how small the map is blue is essentially in one Blue gets their card on a two stack. Yep. And solidifies in the bottom. Okay. And red player. I don't think red adds to their six in the top. Magenta has now locked that six. Or the other way to play it is maybe you add and you roll the seven. Okay. Red's going to get a card here. Either that or they roll up from the 10. No. Okay. So no card there. My six is also locked between reds six and magentas. Sorry, magenta six and reds 10. <laughs> Looks like red is trying to slow go for this bonus. That might take a bit. At least I can get a card this turn off my three in the middle. So we're behind a card, but we, were, we are in the first seat. So now we're kind of like effectively in the second last seat, getting the 12 trade. Let's see if I die before I get to trade in. <laughs> As I said, I think this map is going to work. This map's going to work for fewer players. Six player progressive, this map is not going to work. It's going to be very lucky um, and lucky in the sense that your outcome will depend on your opponents making errors. Someone will kill feed. And if you're the beneficiary of the kill feed, like I often am in larger maps, then good for me. But I think in this situation, it's as likely that I am the one getting fed as anything else. Okay, green stays botted. Oh, do we see the green bot take a card? We almost had a true six player game, but not quite. And resting synthesis. 
I, so I can show you the players. I'm in the first position playing as purple. In the second position, resting synthesis 51 from an unspecified location playing as green. In position three, we farm my wood, the white player from United States of America. In position four, the magenta player is Freeman Bora from Germany. We do see a card. So I am in the 12 trade seat now. In the fifth position, we have Brady Sonda from the Netherlands playing as blue. In the final position, General Baracho, 492 from Canada playing as red. Okay, we're hitting a lot of green now. Okay, white wants that middle bonus. They want a plus five, and they spent a lot of troops to do it. I lose my middle position. Perhaps I can try bully green out of the, the plus four I'm in? Maybe? Question mark? I think I do move the 13 out from here and attack. And maybe not. Magenta's now in that bonus too. Can't really tell what other people want. So if I can't tell what they want, and <laughs> blue goes bad neighbor. White's fucked. We might kill white here. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Poor white. Overextended to take a bonus. I mean, it's a plus five. Three territory plus five. Very juicy. Problem is, you're literally surrounded by everybody. So uh, <laughs> I like France caps. France caps 1v1 is. Just an idiot proof. You know what? Maybe we'll do a round of that before we end the video, just so you can see the idiot proof sort of France caps 1v1 that I like. I, it doesn't require much thought. Sometimes it's nice to just veg out and play a game. Don't lock my six. Let my six out. Let my six out. Let my six out. Let my six out. He's not gonna <laughs> let it out. Move the 10. No. No. Ah, that's not that's not letting it out. That's locking it in. All right. Uh get my card here and pull back to Brittany. I don't know. Brittany just feels like it's out of the way. It just feels like I'm hiding in a corner. Like somehow I still have a second position. It's not gonna survive much longer. I don't think red's gonna hit it. Maybe a magenta attacks off, of course. It kind of lets me get a card. That would be nice. I just, these settings feel so fucking fragile. <laughs> it's okay. We got to run through every map for the series. This, this map is going to get a very low score for free for all progressive, but that's okay. Not all maps are for the same thing. Okay, Greenbot still has a five stack next to me. Still in four places. Three, sorry, three places, three places. Okay, White's in the middle of the board, has two fives and a single. We're going to get a card off their single. White's going to get eaten by Blue. Yeah, Blue sitting with a single 20 stack. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, what does Magenta do? So Magenta is now the last territory in a bot continent. Pay attention to, always pay attention to that, folks. So this four territory plus three of southwestern France is now mostly controlled by the green bot. And if the bot has cards and it wants that bonus, if it's a bonus taken bot, it's going to hit your, your stack no matter how large. So, not no matter how large, but if it thinks it can hit it, which then the bot takes all sorts of stupid rolls. So, all right. Agenda says, I want the bonus. Okay, what is blue doing? Nothing, just taking a card. Yeah, blue's going to kill white, maybe me. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I kind of need that six to survive because it's keeping me alive. Yeah. So I think the way the story of this game goes is red's going to hit my six. That's going to feed. That's going to kill feed me to blue, and blue kills white, and then Pete in like two turns. Predicting. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, uh, that sacks on the 12. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like it, guys. I'm going to die. I just feel it. Well, maybe the kill feed goes in my favor. I got a 17 sack. Hiding out. Hiding out in the shores of Brittany. Let's see if uh will live much longer. Maybe I line up the white kill? I mean, set? No set? I don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to die. Okay. 
Maybe magenta moves. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Greenbot likes to attack a lot. I could hold four cards. No sets have been traded. Maybe they move out of the bonus. Move the five down. Yes, they're going to give that middle bonus to blue. I think blue kills them. If I was blue, I'd kill them now, I think. 15 for four is a bad deal, but... <laughs> Blue seems to have successfully bullied them out of the middle position. Okay, Magenta's still in four places. I can't believe... Now they hit my six? Someone's going to hit that six. Spotting with the locked six is just not what you want. <laughs> just not what you want. Okay, they hit a red two. Red's in two places. And blue goes for a kill. Maybe on white. Let's see it. Boom. Boom. And... Steals the bonus. Okay. Doesn't doesn't make the kill quite yet. I mean, if you're white, you set and slam this guy. Kill him before he kills you. I mean, that's the only response to a bully. If white has cards, we might see a slam. I'm so far like staying out of trouble on purpose, right? That 17 stack is not open to anyone. It's kind of locked behind myself in a bot and I'm really trying to stay out of trouble, but this map is so small that it's almost impossible to do so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my fourth card. I'm going to take my fourth card and continue having my stack be locked. Or do I open it? Maybe it's wiser to open the stack at this point. All right, crucial decision time. Open the stack or not. We move to open. Set? No set on four. Okay, I do have a set. Sweet. Well, all right, let's see what happens. So green's going to take one more card. If we see white set and slam blue, either they feed their own kill or they feed the blue kill or both. Okay, bot breaks. Bot hits the Peatman. Twice, sure, why not? Three times, just, yeah. Very nice. I like, okay, uh, blue, or white player, do you have cards? If you do, you trade them now, and you kill blue, because he will kill you. Doesn't. It's a two. Runs. Okay. Magenta. Okay, 16 for five with before the first trade. Who's going to trade first? Green might. I'm not going to sit on four cards. I don't think that's smart. I think someone eats you. <clears throat> By some saving grace, I'm locked behind... Um, Magenta and red. Finally, they move out of Corsica. Blue set. And dead. Yeah. Okay. So they killed 16 for five cards. This is going to trigger two trades. It's going to trigger the uh, four and the six. 10 troops total, 4 plus 6, kills Pete. Doesn't. <sighs> Who kills Pete. No, doesn't. Okay, I'm in two places. I set here, unless red gets me. I set here. I'm in two. Can I kill? Second the 8, kill green, set again. Not open to green though. All right, red sets get to the eight. Do, do I die? Doesn't look like it, but maybe. 
Maybe he hits off the sixth split and goes up. This is such a brutal short game. I think I can kill green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I die just barely, but I die. Fuck. Oh, he's going to run out of time. All right, Pete, man, there's still a chance. Okay, set. Kill green set. This makes magenta set really good. Oh, fuck. I, I lose. <laughs> I lose! No! <laughs> were, the, were the dice bad, or did I just play bad? Everyone die. So I it turns out that I'm the kill feed. So were the dice bad or did I just did I just make a bad line? I wonder. We will we will consult the videotape, folks. Green sets. Who wins this game? Magenta wins this game. Right? Magenta kills blue. Sets. Like this. And then either me or um, either me or red. This is, these are tricky settings. It's, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Magenta's an easy line to victory here. Set, kill, blue, set. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see it. He'll kill me first, which doesn't trigger a set, and then kill blue. Now he doesn't have quite the troops. You suck. You could have won this game. <laughs> yeah, I suck too. Very interesting. So that was very much a... That was very much a, like, expert to master level mistake. So I bet you pink is quite good. If... Blue has the dice, which I think they do. 19 beats 10, easy. Yeah, blue wins instead. So don't split. No, no, no. He fucked up. He left Corsica. Oh, blue fucked up too. What a disaster this game. What a fucking disaster. <laughs> He's like, which one did I miss? <laughs> you missed Corsica. Oh, man. Red gets fed the win. Oh, baby, what a shit show. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, Red gets the freest five cards they've ever had in their life. Hopefully they give blue second, not the fucking green bot. Botting out turn one gives you second place. Pathetic. Huh? Huh? You better make that magenta kill. And 24 versus one for five cards. Oh, there you go. All right. We do see the cookie crumble. Everyone fucked up this game. He isn't even going to kill these guys in time. He moves way too slowly. But it doesn't matter. Nobody has cards. 
Red has a guaranteed victory. Maybe blue can kill green and trigger a set. That would be an epic comeback after missing the kill. Bot's going to break which way? If it breaks up, that's good for blue. Breaks down. Okay, so blue gets plus three. So eight troops. Break? No, eight troops. Ah, seven troops. Just enough. If if he's feeling frisky with those dice, hit both twos first. The, the correct line to try and kill. The, the correct line to win for blue is hit the two, get good dice, hit the two, get good dice, finish. And then you set, if you can believe it, there is a line where blue doesn't lose this game. It's low odds, but it's possible. Doesn't look like he sees it, though. I think he might have quit. <laughs> I think he might have bought it out. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And there have it, ladies and gentlemen. Red player set sweeps the board. I'm going to do a France Caps 1v1. So you guys see kind of one of the things about France um, that I like. One of the ways in which this map does shine. Red is so new, they don't know how to win. Uh-huh. You kill the bot here, is what you do. And then blue, easily. He's super slow. Uh, he'll have just enough time. That's game. Okay. The little bot set, and blue player gets second place. Huh. Not the story I would have expected. Please win the game. Why are you so fucking slow? <laughs> uh... I want to see how detrimental this has been to my record. I'm probably going to go back down to master just before the, uh, the seasonal reset. And then we could have fucking pooch all my points. The good thing I play these games on an account I don't care about. But it's still, it really sticks in your cry not to see that grand next to you. You gotta be a grand master. <laughs> it's, it is a bit of a relief, I'll tell you guys, to not care terribly much about my rank anymore. Um, I know how much of a passion it is, and it was for me. I know how much passion it is for so many people um, to prove themselves in this game. Um, and I am starting to get to a place where I feel like there really isn't anything left to prove. And that's a very freeing feeling. Oh my God, please win. Thank you. All right, so we're not going to focus on 1v1 content on this channel very often. So you're going to get a rare 1v1 tutorial on this map. Okay. And... Uh, bear in mind, I'm not trying to make the settings um, competitive. I'm specifically trying to make them 
idiot proof. Okay, so we actually had a higher ranked lobby. Yeah. Remember when I said it was kind of an expert master level mistake? There you see it. So red and green were novices. Blue was an intermediate. And magenta and white were experts playing France with me. We are busted back down to master. Let's see if we can also tank my 1v1 rating. Um, so we do France caps. So France caps 1v1. And what I would do is I would add blizzards and fog, uh, manual placement, and I go fix cards because the luck, this does make it luckier. So fully admitted, this is not, as I said, right, this is not a skillful group of settings per se. Uh, AI can be the weakest and the bot is neutral, so you don't even have a bot. I like to put alliances on. I don't tend to use them in balance blitz dice. Let's go. Let's see if anyone wants to play me in this 1v1. We got Mario. Oh, baby. All right. So order of operations in 1v1s, you want to, if you're going first as the first player, you want to try and group the second player so you can run through them on the first turn and get as much out of your attacker's advantage as possible. Uh, you want to... Uh, make sure your opponent doesn't hold bonuses. You want to hold as much territory as you can, and then you want to hold your own bonuses in that order, usually. So with the selection process, the first thing I want to do is I want to pick this territory. I think Northern Auvergne is the ideal one to cap off if you're playing caps and you go first. Um, almost all the time. These blizzards are not super impactful. It does create a deep corner of Corsica, and it does turn this into a 3v3 instead of a 4v3. So, um, now what I do is I force him to block because if he doesn't block me here, I'll hold a plus five on my first turn by taking this bonus. And he doesn't. So we already know a couple of things. We know we're going to win this game. We know our opponent is very bad and probably doesn't play a lot of 1v1s. And the rest of this game is just I'm going to pick the edges and try and push him into the middle of the board because he's let me hold um, a plus five on the first turn. That is absolutely a mistake you do not want to let your opponents get away with. Okay, uh, I'm going to want to line up. Or I'm just going to be very aggressive with this. I put it all on cap. You can do some fancy stuff if you're in, if you're in the first seat um, in a 1v1 by not putting your stack on cap. I bet you he caps here, is my guess. One of these two. But it doesn't matter, because I'll still be able to break that bonus. That bonus is only a plus two. And then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pressure him. Yeah, he caps there. I'm going to pressure him such that he... Uh, has to continue retaking, thus shrinking the amount of troops on his cap. And finally, we end up with... A situation I have to split to take all that I do have to split to take all that that's annoying no I could go around that's how I do it I have to still have to split once okay so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the whole board not always what you want to do it is what I want to do here so he has to break all these bonuses and I have 31 on my cap he has 32 on his he's going to get six seven maybe eight troops to start eight Okay, so 40 and I have 54. So I already outnumbered my 14 troops. And in order to break all my bonuses, he has to shrink his stack further. Oh, he just cap rolls. Okay, so he cap rolls, gets bad dice. That's game. Cool. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there you are for the France caps 1v1 in a nutshell. Uh, let's take a quick look. He's a beginner. He's a beginner. Let's take a quick look at where France stacks up on the tier list. Where is France? France, 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 France. The French Revolution. Absolutely, positively the worst map so far that we have looked at for Free For All Progressive. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, because I am interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weeknight streams on Twitch, and I do anything and everything else I feel like creating on my second channel, Free Pete. 
You get unedited VC competition games. You get Risk News Q&A. Uh, you get GeoGuessr Daily Challenge videos and the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. Folks, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.